Alright guys, what's the crack? This is Gar, and this is We Beasties, and you've caught me, I am in the mood for recording. I'm glad you liked the rat, Roland the rat, Remy the rat, Garatui, we had lots of different, uh, why can I not fly? What's going on? Uh, um, there we go, I seem to turn it off somehow. I'm glad you liked the, uh, the, 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 the rat, it seemed to go on pretty well, pretty happy with how you guys have been uh, reacting to it, and we're getting dark, fantastic. I think I can sleep though, sleep through the night, should be fine, because there's nobody else on the server at the moment. But I have some things to show you, and then some things to do with you today. So, let's go quickly down to our little bed. We are going to be moving this bed today, I'm pretty sure, actually. Yeah, definitely would be moving it today. In fact, let's take it with us as soon as we wake up, because we are going to move a couple of things over actually um, you know what let's move this o well yeah let's take this over come on thank you very much take the book stand we are going to be moving into our new base today now we have done a couple of things to it nothing major but I got a little buddy on to help me with a little project I had and he and he did well where is what I want where's what I want I don't seem to have any of it. I thought I did. Maybe I have it, but not here. Uh, I'm looking for something very specific that it's not really that important if I tell you what it is, to be honest. But uh, I just kind of yeah. Well, we'll go over. So what have we got? We got most of our stuff. Uh, we are going to be moving across into the base today, and we are going to be pretty much kitting out the ground floor. I've done a bit of preparation work. You might have also noticed a bit of detailing on the back, on the outside. I'm going to be doing a lot more. Don't worry. It's not going to be that ugly. But I thought that was just a nice sort of front facade. There's going to be a fancier door. Uh, the door mechanism is what I got a friend on to help with, actually. Uh, his name is Mike Matrix. You guys probably know him. You probably saw him. I think he played in the Kingslayer. He is a mod maker. And is this gold? Don't tell me that's the only gold I have. Damn it. Hmm... Uh, da, 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 random ingots. Bugger. Oh, some more dark iron though, which is good. Haven't used it at all. Oh well, it doesn't matter. I don't need that much gold, but I thought we had a bit of it. Anyway, let's pop over and see what we've done here. So as you know, I'm planning on moving across all my main sort of technical stuff over into this area. And we beasties will still continue, but I'm definitely going to be planning on making standalone builds as opposed to living in lots of different beasts. I think that looks pretty damn cool. I'm going to have to say both those three things together in the tree. I'm pretty happy with all this. All we need now is something in this area. Maybe a tire of some sort. But anyway, here is the gate. Pretty fancy. At the moment, it's dirt. Um, yeah, it won't be dirt forever. That's why I was actually planning on getting gold. It would require gold blocks. Well, it doesn't require gold blocks, but I was thinking of using gold blocks. Now, gold blocks would be really expensive, but 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 times 4 would be 20 gold blocks, which would be 20 times 9. Yeah, it's quite a lot, isn't it? 100 and, hmm, 180 different ingots. That's two and a bit stacks of gold just for a door. I don't know. We might not do that, but anyway... As you can see, the theme of this building is kind of evolution. That's why we're calling it Garwin Institute. We've got uh, DNA on the outside here. Let's get rid of, let's get rid of this dirt. Uh, I'm sort of hesitant to show you. Oh, they're done. I thought they would be up. I'm sort of hesitant to show you the. Um, oh. Ooh. Ooh. I'm hesitant to show you the mechanism down here because it's pretty confusing. Uh, we. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he made it really compact. It's you could have made it really simple, but uh, you know, Mike. Mike's the kind of guy. He works in the voxel box. He does mods and stuff for them, and he's a he's a really really cool guy and a really really cool programmer. And I think that all probably went into my digger's backpack. We're gonna go and look for some fancy material to make this out of. We're gonna go see what we've got. Copper blocks would be quite nice too, but copper is a bit of a luxury, so it probably won't be that. It's kind of a similar sort of an idea to whatever this is, except obviously it's got a fancier sort of mechanism, you know? Uh, yeah, it's much fancier, but you know how it works. You know how it works, guys. Uh, we're going to be moving across there today, as I said. What can we make the door out of? What can we make it out of? Let's take that meat along with us, actually, because... How many have you got? Fourteen! Nice! It's cooking on, cooking on quite nicely. Nothing crazy, but doing okay. Hmm, have I got anything in here worth... Ooh, now that's something we might, maybe we should do it out of something Zykorid ID. 
not recipe. Uh, well, actually, yeah, res. Green side corridor bricks. Hmm, it would be pretty ugly. <laughs> Maybe we'll ignore that. It would be pretty ugly. Uh, should we just get some marble? I've got a feeling we should probably just get some marble and do it in marble. Yeah, let's just do it in marble. Uh, 27 is plenty. Uh, I've got some more of that red stuff, as you can see, for doing little bits of detail on the back. I'll be doing red bricks and places and different things. But let's first of all just get the marble in. Now, today's plan is to do a big recording session, as per usual. And we're going to try and get kit up with some different thermal expansion type machines. That's the idea, anyway. So, we're going to try and get the pulverizers and the ma and the and the furnaces and the different things. So, we can eventually get some good Billcraft power going up. Now, I can't remember how much of that is... Did I just put that in the wrong thing? I think I might have done, you know. Well, oh, hold on. Why is this done? Oh, I... Oh, oh, hello. That's confusing me. Uh, oh, I see what I've done. Yeah, I did do it wrong. Uh, I was meant to put them up here. That makes more sense. Didn't break anything, though, which is good. Marble for the meantime. Just some marble. Might try and move those pressure plates back just one space. See how difficult that would be to do. We've got the redstone now, that'll be pretty easy to do actually. So just uh, take this alloy wire here. Yeah, that was an extra piece of alloy wire, strange one. And let's say dirt, please. Can I get the dirt, please? Thank you very much. Put these away for the time being. Let's put a hole there so we can get it out and in. We get out. Thank you. Thank you very much. Let's put these uh, pressure plates where we want them to be. Very easy, those pressure plates. And if you didn't know, what these obsidian pressure plates do is they only activate when a player's on them. So you won't get any mobs and you won't get any items or anything activating them, which is very useful, obviously, to make sure that nothing nasty gets in your base. Let's get them out again. Thank you very much. Bang, bang, and bang. And remember that they are there there and there and just i need one more piece of alloy wire buggery 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 shoot i think i got one there we go fantastic up onto the roof of the mechanism and it should work fine and dandy now pop out good stuff awesome you don't have to jump over that i got some raft lamps on the go so we're doing okay for light uh, this is mostly going to be my decoration room, so I think I'm actually going to jump up. But what you might have noticed is I've put some paneling here. And the main reason for that now is because if we break in here, you'll see they definitely went into my pack again. Thank you very much. We've got a one wide, one thick wall here that allows for wires to be put in, which is pretty important to me. I don't like visible wires. So, yeah, as I said, it's not that important down on this level, but... It's going to be pretty useful in general, I think. Yeah, so let's put our bed in here. Uh, where should we put it? Maybe a little, have a little sort of cozy area over here, somewhere out there. Yeah, that looks pretty swish. Could have a little bedstead, whatever, have a fireplace over here. Central staircase up the middle, pretty much going to go for a central staircase. Now let's go over and see if we can move. You know what? I think I should move all across all my stuff, shouldn't I? No, 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 I'm not going to do that yet. I'm not going to do that yet. I need to get some modular power suit stuff on the go. I really want a better source of flying than this crappy jetpack, even though it is advanced. Sorry, Chandler, it's not that your pack is crappy, it's just, well, you know. Uh, we got plenty of iron, that is good. Let's take some of the more valuable stuff across, I think. And, in fact, let's get smelting it here. In fact, let's get crafting it here, I think, actually, as well. So, all this stuff is good. Get the, in the build, build craft shoot. Eh, got some gold. Let's let's start macerating this gold up. After the copper, I'm really looking forward to getting the thermal expansion ex machine set up. Actually, now where have we got thermal expansion? If I put it in build craft, yes. So we've got a pulverize already. Fantastic, and we have a pirate furnace already. Again, fantastic. We've got some sterling engines. Now, will I ignore them and go for something better like magmatic? Might be the bad, worst idea in the world, you know. So we've got sterling, electric, electrical might be pretty good. I could use generators. Let's have a look at what the recipe for the electrical engine is, actually. Doable. Very doable. 
Uh, how do I do a tin gear? Is that easy? Just stone. Okay, so we can do this. We can do this now. Let's make... Let's move all these generators across, so, because we don't want them here. We don't want them there at all. Let's get some wood. And get some of these tin electrical engines on the go. I'm thinking... Four, maybe? Where did I put my minium stone? I think I've, I think I've left it somewhere. Let's quickly craft a, uh... Ah, I was doing the draggy thing again. The draggy thing does not work, Gar, remember. The draggy thing does not work yet. Uh, I'm thinking... Maybe six or seven engines. How much would that be? That would be six gears, which would be enough for three engines. Let's do this again. Get six engines, I think. Damn it, that was dumb. Well, that's going to be a lot more than six. Okay, uh, we need some cobble. Thank you very much. Just in case, let's take two stacks. Never going to be a fast crafter. Ladies and gentlemen, never going to be a fast crafter. Um, let's take all 18. Now, how many do I want? I'm thinking six. I'm thinking six. So, I need 12 of these thingies. Which obviously, oh, that's silver. That's not good. Uh, is that silver too? Yep. Okay, let's put that silver back. Must have more tins somewhere. I need, is that 10? Please be 10. Thank you. I need more 10, man. 10 is a necessity. We might have to go crafting now. I need three more for 12, I think. Yeah, we've got 10. I should get that smelted up, I think. Uh, here we go. Awesome. No, electrical engines. No, electrical engines. Here we go. Okay, pistons I need. So I need glass and pistons. Okay, so we, we, we can do, again, all this stuff I think we can do. We should have a lot of glass. I think I auto-smelted some glass. There we go. Again, six required. Uh, pistons will require one, two, how much wood? Three times six, 18. There we go. And more cobble. Should be enough cobble. It is. Uh, some iron. Got some iron and some redstone. Very, thank you very much. Okay. Let's get these pistons. I need to make a recipe for pistons, I think, actually. Uh, damn it. That's... No. Damn it. <laughs> what a crappy way of doing it. Uh, is it six I wanted? I think it is, isn't it? Why did I get 18 redstone? I obviously was confusing it with the wood. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Piston, glass, tin gears, and tin. Does that stack? It does. Doesn't matter though. We've got our electrical engines. Now, I'm pretty sure they, well, I, they accept the glass fiber and they pump out into gold conductive pipes, which we already have. Now, I will obviously be working on. Where's our wooden waterproof? Oh, wooden conductive, there we go. We'll obviously be working on some better sources of power. These generators, I know, eventually won't cut it. Hmm, but for the meantime, not doing too badly. So, I think we shall just put this in there. And in the meantime, get that going. Get that going. Yeah, let's, 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 let's get ourselves an iron chest. Let's get ourselves an iron chest. Or maybe two, or maybe a diamond chest, I think. Just, just bring some stuff over. I think I can go, is it like this? Yes, and then, is it like this or something? Nope. Obviously less expensive than that, I think. Diamond. Diamond chest, diamond, diamond chest. What what are you? What, what are you? Uh, oh, it needs to be gold. Ooh, that's a pain in the ass. Um, okay. Uh, I do have some gold somewhere, I think. But I might not, you know. You know what? That'll do. Iron chest will do. Iron chest will do grand. And let's pop over and get some of this stuff down so we can get a moving on it. What do you, let me know what you think of this building and any ideas you have. Remember that the theme is evolution. There will be a bird's nest going there with the Garwin, uh, Garwin, with one of the Darwin finches on it, which is pretty cool. 
Uh, actually, let's get this thick guy down here now as well. Um, there for the meantime. Oh, well, that worked. And I need to get myself a linking book here. I think we've got a whole pile of linking books in the hub station. They might already be crafted though. Just need a book actually, that's all I need, just a book, just a random book. And I thought we had a chest of books here, specifically for that, but we might not have. What's this? Bunktopia. Hmm. Public mining is very useful. Well, this is a handy way of getting back to my base, uh, where we can get a book, hopefully. Got any paper? We do. So, I think it's one and three can't really remember off the top of my head, but I think it's this. It is. We will craft that into a linking book in the thing. I'm just making sure we don't have any gold here. All of this stuff will eventually be moved of course, across, of course, except for that nonsense up there. It's a waste. That is a waste. Hey, Molly. How you doing? Glad you're alright. Come on. Over we go. You will soon be in vanilla, Molly. I hope you know that. <laughs> oh, oh. Awesome. Wee bit slow, but you know what, it's not too bad. And now let us craft it right here. Looking outwards. Bang! Linking book. Booyah! Get across. And we can take this out and rename this. I think we don't need experience. I think we just need a uh, like a thingy-majigger over here. And let's call this the Garwin Institute. And I think I might just dump that. I might just go dump that. Uh, there we go. Pop this out over the void. Bye. Ew. No worries. Oh, <laughs> I'm in the record. I'm not in the recording room. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> and I just think I accidentally pressed push to talk when I said bye. But anyway, we are back now. Fantastic. Let us get our iron chest down. And see if we can start prop getting these things in the go. Right, okay, so I'm probably going to have to... Definitely going to be reworking this floor too. I don't like all the redstone cobble. But anyway, let's just put the chest, like, say, here for the time being. And let's say we're going to have this little area be our thing. So if that's the... Er if that's the thing. Let's have it be here. Let's get this down. Okay. So we're going to have uh, pulverizer and the pirate furnace. Okay. And the pulverizer is going to have uh, orange on the side. Why is that still yellow down there? And input on the top. There we go. And I think that should be fine. For the moment, it's fine, I think, anyway, certainly. And you are going to be set to receive from just... I like to do this just to be on the safe side. And actually, you know what? I'm going to move this iron chest to be here because I want you to auto-eject into that, which you will do at the moment. Okay, so... I won't have a filter system for anything like obsidian and stuff, but that's okay. That is okay. Now, it means we're going to have to run our power down. And I'm thinking about making a basement for power generation. Probably will do this in the basement. So, let's just take a little area down here. Well, it's not as fast as I remember this. It's fully charged. Maybe they nerfed it, but we didn't update, so... Hmm. Hmm. Do a quick area. You know, I could use with a filler or something, couldn't I? I could really use with a f I could use a filler right now. Uh, basement as well. I don't like being ugly, so... Well, that's alright. We're, we're sort of th thickish down here, so... It should be fine. It should be fine. I will just dig this out a little bit and then come back to you guys afterwards. You know what, that's a decent amount of space at the moment, I think. It's not perfect, but it's not bad. And we are going to line up the electrical engines, I think. Uh, if we th imagine this going like so, then hmm, 
We're gonna need a bit of space here, aren't we? Uh, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, six is actually a, a, a number that's going to annoy my senses. I've got a feeling. Um, might get, might just, might, <laughs> might craft another one. <laughs> yeah, might craft another one. Can I craft one right now? No, I don't have. Yes, I can. I can craft one right now. Uh, let's quickly get this out. Thank you. Never hurts to have a crafting table down. I know it's a bit dark here, ladies and gentlemen. Sorry, I'll try and stand in the light so you guys can see stuff. Uh, get another two of these. Thank you. Do I have the glass on me? The glass is the only thing I don't have on me. Damn it. Well, I can at least get another piston. And another, uh, yeah, piston. Got the tin, just don't have the glass. Okie dokie, well, that's fine. I can put them down in a second. I need more wooden pipes, which is a reason to go back anyway. You know what, if I got my portal gun on me, because this would make this a lot handier. Thank you. Thank you very much. Piston, glass, and tin, tin, tin. Thank you. So we got seven of those. And we need, there we go, another, some of these, and another five of those. And I, I can't remember, can I mine these? I think you can. Did I just get a machine block? No. I'm pretty sure you can mine generators, can't you? It looks like I can. It looks like I'm getting the straight generators back, which is very, very handy. Yes, I am. Fantastic does mean I am kind of devoid of power at the moment, but we've got a pretty big filled up MFE, if I remember correctly, so we should be okay. Now I'm going to pop these back into the barrel, so that I can pick the rest up without too much issue. Uh, that's a transformer, isn't it? I think, yes. So we'll keep that on the go at the moment. And we do want IC2 power, I think I'm going to put that on the other side of my processing. So, you know what I mean, on my processing thing here. Let's get this in here, but probably just try and get the uh, copper to go in first. So, uh, kind of gonna annoy me. I'm just gonna put that there for the time being. Ooh, Glitch has just joined the game. Hello, Glitch. What am I doing? I am going back across to try and set up these pyre with electrical engines. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to get more things established in and set up in game for you guys. Um, the generators are going to be required to make the power, and I'm probably going to have to use an ender chest to get the excess of those blaze rods over, but we do have plenty of blaze rods. Eventually, I want to be using those blaze rods, blaze rods to cook up some steam, I think. But for the moment, we're just going to use it to do this. I should have brought torches. Down. <laughs>